Hello, my angels. So I have two products I want to try in front of you. Hey, honey. Trick and Treat Lip Balm in the color Berry Blush. And the MAC in the color Du Bonnet 108. Now, somebody asked me, why don't you ever put on makeup? Like, you know, like a full face of makeup, mascara, eyes, all that when I try on my makeup. And it's because I don't wear makeup. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, get excited. I believe in natural beauty. I don't mess with my skin. I think my skin is actually freaking out right now because of all the skincare products I've been trying on this channel, which I, I always said I would never would, and I did it anyway. And, um... You know, because there were just so many of them. And I was like, let me try this one. Let me try that one. But I usually don't even use skincare, to be quite honest with you. If I do, I use like Josie Marin Argan Oil. I used to use a Borghese moisturizer, but it's not the same formulation. So I don't recommend it. And I don't use it. And I don't even know if they have it anymore. Um, I used to use a Borghese Cure C. Um, but again, they don't have that or it's not the same formulation. And now I like Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And I like... Um, I tried the Barbara Sturm and I liked it, but then I, I tried, okay, there's a lot of things I like the first time I use it, but then I don't like it long term. So the Barbara Stern is one of them. I still have to try the Prestige La Creme by Dior long term, but I want to do that in the winter because I don't like the way it feels on my skin in the summer because my skin is more moisturized normally because of the high humidity. Um, so I don't wear makeup on my skin unless I'm going on on a date or uh, like a big event, like a gala event or a fancy place, you know, then I'll put on some makeup, but I really just generally don't. So I'm gonna put on the lip balm first because I feel like that's gonna come off. And then it looks like that. Do you see it? It looks kind of wrinkly. Can you see it? weird there's a flavor there's a flavor but I can't identify what it is it's sweet but it's not like cloyingly sweet it's just a light sweet flavor it smells like Vaseline I don't know if you guys my lips are normally like this or like the color of my skin but I think this gave it a light tint It might have color changing stuff in here because this is what my lips look like when I use color changing lipstick like this Givenchy Perfecto lip balm in the blue pink with the sparkles. It's really nice. I really like that one. Mm, you can find that on eBay. Then they also have the Givenchy Perfecto lip balm in the black pink. Oh no, lip gloss. Gloss. Sorry. In the black pink. So it goes on like sheer and then it turns into like a color like this on me. It's okay. I don't love the formulation because it has a beeswax kind of finish so there's chapstick and then there's like petroleum jelly and I'm more of a chapstick person per se I don't like things that taste um or have the feeling of beeswax which is a chapstick feeling I like the petroleum jelly smooth soft almost like lineage this is okay I would never reach for it because of the formulation because even when I looked at it I put it on my lips it's just not for me um, I'm not gonna reach for it uh, you might like it but I, I have other ones that I like more like Juvia's place J U V I A S Juvia's place the balm that they have they have like a glossy balm that's in a tube like that and then they have one that's in a stick I like the stick I haven't tried the tube one yet I'm sure it's probably phenomenal, um, but I don't, I don't love this one. I don't, just because it has that beeswax weird feeling on it. I don't like it. And there's flavoring and I'm, you know, I like flavoring, but I also know that all these things that have flavoring and fragrance, they're usually not good for you. So if it's not necessary, it's not a flavor that I love either. It's like a perfumed berry. So you're like, 
you taste a kind of soft sweet taste but then you also taste like a little bit of perfume it's just overall not my cup of tea it's not bad i know there's a lot of people out there that are gonna love it i recommend the juvia's place lip balm and a stick um the laneige i don't recommend that but i know a lot of people like it so if you do like you know that cut that kind of texture that petroleum oh i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> that petroleum jenny jenny jelly texture is what i prefer this is a matte color. Is it dark? I'm excited about this. I'm into burgundies lately. I used to not like these colors at all. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And if I had a full face of makeup, how much more would this pop when on a matte surface? Oh, I love it. Dubonnet 108. Okay, yes. Throw the box out because I'm keeping this bad boy. That goes right in my drawer. That is beautiful. That should go in my pocketbook. It's so pretty. I'm like in between Tom Ford Infiltrate. I love that. Tom Ford Infiltrate, the lacquer. This color now, my nose, sorry. Oh, I don't know why my nose is itching. Every time I open a package, my nose itches. I'm very sensitive to like, dust and stuff um sorry guys <laughs> I don't edit um I love this so I did a review on the burgundies that I have this one is different than all of them because it's softer it's more of a satin it's silkier and you know mac lipsticks are just always good lipsticks I tried the Hermes Rouge H that one has a little bit of a gritty texture in my in my opinion I think all of the Hermes lipsticks have a little bit of a tiny gritty texture. Like it's smooth, but there's just a little slight, you can't notice. Like I notice everything because I'm like OCD about stuff like that. But there's a, a slight gritty texture to it. So the Hermes Rouge Age is like a burgundy, but it's a darker burgundy than this. Then there is the, just so to go back to the, the colors that I have in my pocketbook. So I have the Infiltrate by Tom Ford Lacquer. I have the uh, Hermes Rose Indian, which is like this fuchsia rose color. Um, and then I have Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Reef, which is like a, a pinky nude kind of color. And then I use that with the Espresso Lip Liner from Revlon in the color, uh, the Time Liner Lip Liner in the color Espresso. It's been discontinued for years, but I bought all of them before they discontinued it. So do, I do like an ombre effect with that lip liner, then the Reef Lip Gloss, and then I go like that until it kind of all blends in. And then um, those are the three colors that I have. And then I think Ruby New by MAC, which is the Slim Stick Blur um, line that they have. Um, two of those were given to me by a social influencer that we all love and know. Uh, well, not I, I do. And then, <laughs> so I like this one because, so now we're going back to burgundies. That's what's in my bag, right? But the burgundies, I love this one because it's smoother than all of them. So my the three burgundies that I compared were um, Milani, 41 Fabulous, the Amore Lip Cream Collection, and that is gorgeous. And that stays on all day. And even if you try to rub it off, it like stains your lips. It's amazing. That is the most long-lasting formulation I have ever used in the existence of my life. And I was a professional makeup artist years ago. Like, I've tried everything, and that is amazing. Uh, it's, again, more on the brown side than this. This is a little bit more of a, a red burgundy, or like a, I think it's more of a red burgundy. Um, whereas the Amore is more of like a, a burnt sienna burgundy, and then the Rouge H is a darker, dark brown, kind of like purplish burgundy. Um, and then there was one more burgundy. What was it? Was it YSL Reverse Red, number 18? Um, it's also a slim stick. It's long and it has like a square tip. It's interesting. And that one again is, it's not gritty at all. It's, it's, but it's in between like the Hermes and this one because the matte by Milani is, is creamy and it dries like this. And the Hermes, when it dries, it dries like a matte, but it's more matte than this. This is still a satin. Um, so the other ones are all more matte. The Rouge H is like a matte. The Reverse Red is a matte. And the Amore by Milani is a matte. This one, the reason it looks, I think, a little bit different is because it's more of a satin. And it stays like a satin. And it feels like a satin. 
where the other ones kind of feel like a satin but dry like a matte. This is a pure satin. So I do love this color. I think it might be one of the ones I keep in my bag. There was one more burgundy that came out. I forgot what it was. I just had it. Hold on. I just tried it and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. No. Was it YSL? No, I did that. Was it Tom Ford? It was this one. Number six. Nope. I just reviewed another burgundy that I was in. Number seven. Nope, that's a nude. It's in the nude section. Where is it? This is burgundy. It goes here. These are nudes. They go up there. Hmm. There was another burgundy. I can't. Oh, it was an Amway one, I think. It was one of these Amway colors. Yeah, this one that I used to wear. It was this color. And the color is Butte by Amway. I love this color. I kind of want to keep it on, but Amway doesn't make it anymore, but you could probably find it on um, online on eBay. This is another one that's very similar to the Mac. But again, a little bit more on like that burnt sienna kind of side. Very moisturizing. This feels like a lip balm on your lips and it stays feeling like a lip balm. This one, the MAC feels like a Latin, a Latin, a satin, <laughs> Latina, a satin lipstick, like a normal one. This feels like the artistry ones, they feel like you're wearing a lip balm, but it's so pigmented that it's a lipstick but it feels like a bomb. It doesn't feel at all like a petroleum jelly bomb. It doesn't feel like a regular lipstick that kind of gets a little bit dry, but it's satiny. It's not the same. This is amazing. So I still think the, I still think this one is a little darker. It gets a little bit more red. Oh God, that feels so good on the lips too though. Mm. But it's not as balmy as the other one. See, it's a little bit more like red, a little deeper than the other one so these are my burgundies I should keep all the burgundies together <laughs> so that's what I have for these are all glosses that's what I have for you guys uh if you like my vibe please subscribe if you like my style I'll come back for a while I try to review lots of different colors I do review a lot of things that are no longer like brand new I don't believe in buying the brand new stuff because I'm cheap I love luxury I love expensive things, but I try to save my money so I can buy the expensive bag or the expensive kit that I want, but I'm still getting the luxury brand. So like these lipsticks, I buy them in lots on Mercari and on um, eBay, where like instead of spending $80, I'll get the same lipstick for $20 or $30, and I save $50. You know, so I'm not, I'm not against saving some money. I'm actually very frugal. Um, because eventually I want to buy a house and then when we get to a million subscribers I'm giving away a Chanel bag and when we get to two million subscribers I'm going to be giving away a Mercedes S 550 so yeah I'm again luxury but it all comes from saving here and there and whatever sponsorship deals this and that so I like to teach you guys the difference if you like the color but you're like I'm not spending $75 on the Hermes Rouge H then go to Milani and get the 41 Fabulous. That's in the Amore lip cream. That's a great alternate. And it's it looks so good on the lips to this one. Because I'm sure the MAC lipsticks cost more than the Milani, you know? So I try to show you guys, based on what I have in front of me, um, how you can get the same look, give me the look, at a more cost-effective price. But then there's something, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, like I bought the Hermes lip balms. You think I need them? They were like $75 each. I got them for, I think, $30, which I thought was a great deal. Because I'm like, I just saved $45 plus tax and shipping, you know. Um, I thought that was a fantastic deal. But do I really need a, a, a lip balm? No, because I love the Juvia's Place, which I just gave you guys the recommendation of the Juvia's Lip Balm. And some other ones that I have, I love those. But there's just something about taking out an Hermes bullet lipstick with the magnetic top and then just opening it up. And you feel like, <sighs> there's just something about that. I can't explain it. It's just something. So yeah, we want those moments too. We want to feel luxurious and like a goddess and a queen and we deserve the best things in life. You know what I mean? And why is it better than the other thing? It's a different experience. The smell of the per of the perfumed lipstick, all of the Hermes ones have like a perfumey smell. The magnetic case, the way it glides on, the way that it dries, the way that it looks. It doesn't look the same on your lips, 
than other lipsticks. I don't know how or why it just doesn't. So a lot of people would argue that it's not worth the $75. And in a way I agree, but it's worth it. So I would pay 40 for it. I would pay 40 or 35 or 30 for an Hermes lipstick on eBay that, you know, I can get cheaper because they bought too many or, you know, some suppliers trying to get rid of their inventory or whatever. I'd rather buy that or on Macari, somebody who got it as a gift and didn't want it and they want to get something for it. So they throw it in with a bunch of other, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather do that than pay the full price if I can avoid it. But then sometimes there's just something nice about getting a package from Hermes and your house or going to the Hermes store and buying it and having them wrap it up for you and then having the box with the link. There's just something nice about that. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just want to share that with you guys. Again, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. Make sure to hit that like button. It helps a lot. Um, and again, if you, if you think that this is a good video, share it. <laughs> Until next time, love you guys. Bye.